Yes, my dear friends, in the solid state chemistry, we discuss about some basic terms. So, we begin with the first term is crystal lattice. Now, when you talk about crystal lattice, my dear friends, you need to remember three words. It can be in any order. And that is, first one is three dimensional. Next one is closely packed. And regular. These are the three very important terms, my dear friends. Three dimensional, closely packed. Regular and then you will say arrangement of particles in space or we call it lattice. Lattice. This is called as crystal lattice. Three dimensional, closely packed, regular arrangement of particles in a given space is known as space lattice or we call it as crystal lattice. Alright? Number two. And that is, we talk about lattice points. Now, when we talk about lattice points, in simple words, it is the position occupied by the particles in the space lattice or crystal lattice. Once again, I repeat, it is the position which is occupied by the particles in the space lattice. Okay, that is what is called as lattice points. So, for example, when the lecture is going on, the classroom we call it as a crystal lattice. Okay, the classroom contains benches on which the students are present. So, the position which is occupied by the student on a bench, and that bench is inside the crystal lattice, is basically called as what? Lattice points. Okay. Next time we go for as I guess, unit cell. Now unit cell, we have to say it's the smallest geometrical portion which may repeat it over and over again. That will give you the entire crystal lattice. That is basically called as unit cell. Once again, that will be smallest geometrical portion. And it cannot be smaller than that. Okay, that is what is smallest. The smallest geometrical portion, which when repeated over and over again. Okay, bar bar usko agar hum log ne repeat kiya, to hume a pura crystal lattice mega. Okay, is a vocabulary there? Unit set. Okay, so first point was about crystal lattice, three dimensional, closely packed, regular arrangement of particles. Those are lattice points, the position which is occupied by the particles in the space lattice. Or this is about unit set. जो smallest geometrical portion होता है और जिसको हम लोग बार बार अगर repeat करें तो हमें एक entire crystal lattice मिलेगा okay so I hope यहाँ तक आपको clear है okay now my dear friends with respect to geometry I am going to explain you some terms so let us consider a unit set and I give you an example of a cubic okay there are various geometries so let us talk about a cubic geometry right so a cubic geometry can be shown like this. So this is what a cube is. Now with respect to this geometry, we need to discuss some of the terms. So the terms are, first one is, we call it as faces. Now what are faces are? Faces are like events. Plane surfaces. Okay, they are what? Plane surfaces which are present in the unit set or what we call it as a crystal. Because unit set, when we repeat, it gives you an entire crystal. So the plane surfaces which are present in the unit set or the crystal is called as faces. So when we consider this particular cube, 
Look at this is face can be like two. So you can see this. The face is up. This is the first face, the top face. Okay. Next to is the bottom face, that is number two. Next to is the left one. Next to is the right one. Next to is the front, and next to is back. Okay, it's three dimensional axis. So these are the three dimensions which I'm talking about in the crystal lattice. Also, the definition of crystal lattice. These are the three axes. So there are total six plane surfaces: top, bottom, left, right, front, back. Okay, so six faces when you consider it. Next image. Now this has a geometry. Now my dear friend, geometry is possible only when these plane surfaces meet each other. Now how that meeting is going to be, that is more important. And accordingly, we give some terms. So we call it as edges. Now the meeting of the faces along the length. It's called as it is. Okay, so that's it. I'm talking about this distance. Okay, this is the edge. So if I'm going to count the total number of edges, then this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven, and twelve. So you can see this. There are total twelve. Edges. Okay, this this will be this distance. Okay, that's what is the edge. Next thing is we call it as dominance. Here what happens is the meeting of the faces takes place at the bottom. Meeting of the faces at the point is called as corner. So, how many columns will be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, there are going to be 8 columns. Alright? So, with respect to the geometry, you can see the first is faces. Plane surface is present in this one. There are going to be, when you consider Q, so it's going to be how much? 6. Next we go for edges, meeting of the faces along the length. Okay, that is going to be called as edges, so that's 12. Corners, meeting of the faces at the point, that's going to be 8. Okay, now you can see this, this, uh, this angle or this angle. So this is an angle between the two faces or between the two faces. And these faces are different and therefore we call it as interfacial angle. You know it as what? Interfacial angle. So it is angle between the two different faces. That is what is the interfacial angle. You can see, I can consider it as alpha, beta, gamma, or just simple as theta. The okay, interfacial angle simply because it has what? Theta. So it is an angle between the two different planes or two different faces. So it is interfacial. I hope you understood sure this. Uh, my dear friends, we go into the next part, and that is called as center of symmetry. Now, when you know a center is related to point, okay? So it is going to be a point present. Inside the crystal, such that the axis drawn to it will intersect the opposite sides. At equal distances. Okay, let's get an idea. It's a point which is present inside the crystal such that the axis drawn through it 
will intersect the opposite sides at equal distances. Now, what does this happen? I once again show you a cube. Now, suppose this is what I consider is a symmetry. Okay, the white of symmetry. I want to say it as a symmetry or symmetry. So, if I draw an axis passing through it, so it is going to inside the two opposite sides such that this distance, suppose this distance is say A, and this distance, say, is B. Okay, so we say A is equal to B. Okay, so it's on the opposite side, but then the distances are equal. So on opposite sides at equal distances. Then I draw this as a center of symmetry, or I also can draw it as point of symmetry. And that is exclusively present in a particular crystal. 